four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. Breathtaking view from the Space Coast this morning overnight. The dawn of a new era of the SpaceX capsule designed to carry astronauts taking off in spectacular fashion. This was an unmanned test, but the capsule could have astronauts on board as early as this summer. The launch drawing in spectators from all across the state and the country. We check back in with the new station's Matt Trezza, who joins us live from Jetty Park with reaction. Watching the launch this morning, we could hear cheers erupt from the control room there, and I know the crowds along the Space Coast saw quite a sight this morning. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Andrea. There were tons of people out here watching this launch. And of course, the people here in Cape Canaveral are hoping that the return of manned missions to space from this area will bring also more big business to the area. Let's take a look at how the crowds were much earlier this morning, at around 2 o'clock this morning when the launch was happening. Uh, people coming from around the world to see rocket launches here, and they're hoping that even more will come with the return of possible uh, launching of astronauts from the space. East Coast, a big boost, they hope, to restaurants and hotels, hoping to see more people like these folks who came out for this morning's launch. We saw it last night. We just we said absolutely we're going to come out and see this this morning. So we just uh, we had to see it. I've never I've never seen one. And I, I'm I'm very excited about being here to see this. It's great. But this is a great turnout here too. I mean the place is packed. It's, it's good to see the excitement of people. And the last time humans were sent to space from the Kennedy Space Center, well, that was Space Shuttle Atlantis. That was back in 2011. We're live in Cape Canaveral. Matt Trezza, Fox 35 News.